In July of 1944, Josefina Maravilla Saho, a fair-complexioned, chinky-eyed, 29-year-old expert dressmaker and dress shop owner, joined the Sherbas de San Jose in Haro, Iloilo, a year after she heard the call of God and decided to respond to it. Being one of the middle children among 13, she was born on May 5, 1914. Sacrificing the benefits of a comfortable life, she entered religious life against the will of her widowed mother and siblings. Without the knowledge of anyone, she left her home alone and met a friend who was also entering the SSJ. In the pier, she incidentally saw her sister's fiancé and an uncle, and so she hid herself, determined to be a sister. She first met the Sherpas de San Jose in St. Teresita's Academy, Silay City, Negros Occidental, where she used to conduct and catch her nieces who were enrolled there. She became close to Mother Carmela, and their friendship and Mother Carmela's guidance eventually led her to an interest in being one of the SSG. One of the most difficult experiences she had was one of adjustment, and this was resolved in due time through God's grace. When asked about her novitiate days, she fondly recalled how she had to face the Japanese soldiers with courage, even if inwardly she was very afraid. This inspired other sisters to be the same. This difficult but significant experience helped mold her to be the courageous person she is now. Every time she experienced discouragement and crisis, she looked back at the experience and asked herself, Why am I here? Why did I become a sister? It served as her stronghold in difficult moments. diverse assignments were being a cook, kitchen in charge, treasurer, canteen operator, talleres worker, holy family dormitory residence companion, and office worker. She said that the most fulfilling mission she had was doing household work. As a person, Jo is friendly and loving. Hence, she became dear to many people, including her family, the SSJ, alumni of Colegio de Santa Rosa, residents of Holy Family Dormitory, and other religious women and men from nearby schools and universities. As a worker religious, she was industrious and dedicated. She loves the congregation and always tries to give the best she could for its good. Jo loves to be with the community, paying attention to every person, quickly noticing the absence of anyone. She is thoughtful and generous, and loves to give little surprises to the community. Jo is a broad-minded person who is open to change, welcoming the changes in the congregation with joy. She is socially aware of the country's situation, and even at the age of 98, she religiously reads the newspapers and watches the news on TV every day. She deeply loves her vocation and considers being a Sherva de San Jose as the best for her. She enjoys with the young and so likes to see young sisters juniors, novices, and pre-novices, and is very happy every time she is told that an aspirant is joining us. Her greatest aspiration 
is the growth of the congregation in whatever way. Her message to the SSJ, Try to be faithful and through Shervas de San Jose, and never forget to leave the spirit of the congregation. And her message to the people, Never disobey your elders. Don't deny whatever is being asked of you.